Hi, this is Jason Perlo with ZDNet Tech Broiler, and I'm here to show you the new Droid or Android Froyo update for the Motorola Droid, which was recently introduced just this morning, August 4th, 2010. I was not expecting this update this morning. In fact, I wasn't expecting this for another two or three days or even more because the last time they rolled out a major operating system update for the Motorola Droid, um, it took well over a week or so before I got it, but for some reason they must have identified me as a, as a pilot user and they rolled out the update this morning. Now as you can see, this is not the stock uh, Android. This is you know, uh, my Motorola Droid desktop uh, with the, all the modifications that I've made to it um, over the last you know, couple of months because like, you know, I've fully customized it with all my stuff. And all of it uh, came back after the update, which took, it, I'm going to say, at least five or six minutes uh, or more, maybe more, to, uh, to do the update. And uh, it took a while for the desktop to sort of write itself. I had some performance and interface issues for about 10, 15 minutes while all this stuff, background tasks, I guess, for clean up or, or going around in the background. But now that after I, it, it finished and I rebooted it, it's, it's running fairly stable now. And just to show you, there's a couple of a little couple minor interface changes that you'll notice. You see, there's a new little launcher thing here with all the little dots. Now, if you click on that, your apps come up. So I can scroll up and down and show you all the apps that I've got installed. Got quite a few here, so it, it did preserve all my my favorite applications. Um, you'll notice here I've got the Adobe Showcase that gets. You can load that optionally from the Android market, uh, but you do have to have Flash installed for that to work because that is, in fact, a Flash application. Now, this morning when I tried to look for Adobe Flash on the Android market, it was not there. In fact, when I went to, I clicked on the Adobe Showcase application, I figured it would install it for me, and it does try to do a server redirect. It looks like it's overloaded this morning. If you try to get to it, just wait a bit. It may take a while for Adobe to get all their systems up and stuff. I was able to install Flash because somebody who noticed on Twitter that I, I couldn't get it working offered the Flash package for me to sideload onto the system. You shouldn't have to do that. Um, you should just be able to click on the Adobe Showcase and it should be able to install it for you. So let me just show you the Adobe Showcase. It is working on my phone. And as you can see, it goes to m.flash.com, which is their mobile site, and it, it remotely loads a Flash application. Okay, so this Flash application is not actually installed on my Droid. It's actually just redirecting it to a, a remote site. And it is taking a while to install it. Okay, so you can see we've got the CNET TV side here is one of the ones that they're profiling and showing you you can run on your droid. So it's loading a, a flash application in the background. All right, so I can rotate it here. You can see it like this. I'll hit play and we'll go to full screen mode. Hey everyone, it's Wednesday, August 4th, 2010. Welcome to CNET TV. Got big Here's fat fingers, unfortunately. Today. Blackberry Torch has landed with an all-new touch interface, better email, universal search. It's coming on. soon, only to AT&T. Bonnie Chaw got a hands-on at RIMS unveiling in New York. Also, it's music services in the prize fight M-Spot taking on MP3 tunes. And the U.S. finally gets a cool Ford, the Fiesta Sedan SEL, and it's low price and high gas mileage. And it's kind of cute, even in yellow. It's all coming up on our playlist right now. Happy there Wednesday, everybody. So this is one of our news coverage videos on the new BlackBerry that just came out yesterday. Which I wasn't too impressed with, to be honest with you. It's got the same screen as the all BlackBerry, same basic CPU hardware, proved memory, but compared to the Droid, I don't know. The new Droids are pretty sweet. But as you can see, even if you have an older Droid, the Froyo update considerably improves your functionality. Now you can do flash videos. I tried to get onto Hulu before, but it was a little bit overloaded. But I can definitely, I was definitely able to get the uh, the movies to play and the and the uh, the content to play. Uh, as you can see, there's also a new Facebook application. Now that was not actually installed with Froyo. That was released last night or this morning. 
I guess, in anticipation of the failure update. As you can see, Facebook looks a little bit different, right? A little bit more streamlined. So I've got uh, all my status updates here. You can now see, I think, messages. You can also do friend requests. I think friend requests is new. You can actually respond to friend requests. So that's kind of a new, a new thing that Facebook can do. The main Google application for Gmail, I haven't seen a major change here. Um, it looks to be about the same. Let's take a look at the calendar app. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is, is very similar. I mean, I haven't noticed major interface changes in these. Um, performance does appear to be better. Now, I haven't been using this thing enough to really get a, uh, a good idea of, of what my actual performance is going to be like. Now, you can see there I got a, a battery monitor application that says 35 hours. Well, that's because I got this giant CDO 2800 milliamp battery on my droid. But otherwise, it's an unmodified unit. Um, I did notice that they did not seem to have fixed the kernel bug which tells you what your battery life is because I literally had this thing plugged in for like two three days it had a full battery charge it's already showing that my battery is declining um, which should not be true because if I go into settings here and I look at my battery consumption or if I look at my uh, My about phone it shows me battery use or status. Battery level is 80%. So I climbed, I went from 100% to 80% in less than an hour. Okay. Now that's because the CDO battery, the kernel doesn't recognize the much larger battery. It'll actually, I've had this phone run in like 1% or like you know empty power mode for for 10, 15 hours. Um, and it because it tends to empty in about four, it sh the status indicator empties in about I'm going to say four or five hours tops until you have to which reboot the phone. And it's a kernel level issue. Obviously, they had not resolved it at Motorola, so I'm not particularly happy about that. But I have a special app that I bought that shows me the actual charge, and it's called Battery Info or Battery Left. And if I click on Battery Info, it'll show me I'm running at over 4,000 millivolts, which is really 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 high high voltage for uh, for battery life so I mean that's not <laughs> that's not 80 percent that's that's more than 100 that's about 100 percent or 99.98 percent charge and my actual battery usage left is about 30 hours usually it's around 22 24 constant use and see I've got all my shortcuts and stuff have been preserved right but otherwise, I mean, cool stuff. I got the, you know, the, the dialer is integrated onto the launcher, as is the web. Right? So, I don't need to put launcher icons for my dialer on my home screen anymore. In fact, I took them off. I took off the dialer one, and I took off the web one. Although I've got an opera one there. I'm sure I could probably move that. But all my stuff works. Um, I noticed I had a couple of things that were updated this morning, like my my weather bug. Okay, so there's actually a new version. Well, that's kind of neat. It shows you a little icon of it raining. My weather bug was updated this morning also. Lots of different Android up, uh, programs were updated this morning, I guess, in anticipation of this new update. It's a nice balmy 82 degrees outside. So otherwise, pretty much the same. I didn't notice any new widgets. Um, I could, you know, I got the ones that I've installed with various applications. So it's it's not really. Well, let me see if there's any new wallpapers. Let's see if there's any new live wallpapers. I did not check that. These look like the same ones for the most part. So I mean, again, this is kind of an iterative update, a performance update for Droid more than anything else, and the ability to add. Flash. The, the Froyo primarily adds the just-in-time compiler for Java, which increases uh, native Dalvik applications for Android performance anywhere between two and five times. Um, I haven't noticed a huge different response time, but I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, I've only been using this for about an hour or so, and there's probably certain applications which get more optimization than others. Um, the Google application for Gmail was already pretty speedy. So I'm not noticing any huge difference there. 
but I do see pretty good improvements in web browser performance. So let's say here's my ZDNet application for our mobile site. That came up a lot faster, so I think the JavaScript execution was, was pretty good there. So that's Froyo 2.2 for the Motorola Droid. Just came out. Like I said, I've only had it for about an hour. I barely had enough time to really dig deep into it, but it did preserve all my updates, all the um, applications that I've installed, and all my personal data. So I was pretty happy about that. I didn't have to wipe the phone. I may still wipe the phone just because I want to see what a, a pure Android Froyo 2.2 experience on the Droid looks like but that's not something that you should necessarily need to do. Um, all your stuff will still be there when it reboots. It did take a, a while longer than normal, so don't worry about it if it takes five, 10 minutes for the thing to, to come back, if you have, especially if you have a lot of settings that you wanted it to preserve. Otherwise, really cool. I'm glad that I didn't have to buy a new Droid you know, to get, to get Froyo. It, it uh, extends the life of my phone considerably, at least for another year or so until I you know, eventually get one of the newer models, but I'm quite happy with uh, with this. This will this will last me for a while. So again, Jason Perlow with ZDNet Tech Broiler, signing off. Bye now.